we're back and we have missed you. We've missed you. It's Carol and Debbie. Have you heard that the market is on fire? Wow, it sure is. <laughs> and they're calling the shots. That is the sellers. The they sellers are. are starting to call the shots. It's been a while, but and it's good. We don't know how long that's going to last, but let's let's talk a little bit about that. The housing market continues to outperform perform historical standards as prices are starting to accelerate. They are sure getting top dollar for those homes. They are, and um, prices are rising. Inventory is vanishing almost as fast as it goes on the market, and we can tell you about ours. Yeah. Um, and we think that is one of the reasons uh, the, the rates are low. Um, and, you know, the, the buyers are, um, they're coming from New York, New Jersey and Chicago. They are packing up before even selling their properties and they are buying they and are buying. they are doing everything they can to possibly do so quick. Yes. So, but however, there's two housing indicators that may hit and turn that market a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. um, while things have been on fire, you know, last week they're already gauging week by week as the inventory kept going down and buyers were coming up. Yeah. We did have a little hiccup last week and you know, if that continues, that could be a shift because of the political atmosphere yep. or we're, you know, uh, approaching the uh, big presidential election and we still have that uncertainty hanging over us with the virus. And we still have a little bit of a job a question um, people that have been furloughed, is yes. that the word? Yep. And um, a little uncertainty and, you know, people are uh, drawing back a little conservative. Right, right. But the housing prices um, have yeah. escalated. That medium list price is up 10.8% mm -hmm. annually, mm -hmm. uh, which has been a very fast growth uh, over the last two years. And the market now is 12 days, um, they're saying 12 days fewer than a year ago. Well, here, it's, Whoa. it's within hours. It is within hours. Buyers are moving much faster than they did a year ago to beat out the competition and lock in on those low mortgage yes. rates. So um, things are moving and we wanna share with you how things are moving. Um, we have uh, our own community, our own community here in Rosedale. Yeah. So we had a listing, um, for example, one in the, the uh, North Bridge area yeah. that was um, that went pending in three days. Uh, we had a buyer in multiple offers and of course a buyer uh, missed out there. Uh, so the very next week we had another one come up. We reached out to them. They were first in the door and that house went pending with hours. Hours. Yep. Within hours. I even have to say my own house went sold within days. So it's it is moving. Yeah. And and we've developed relationships with a lot of realtors that have had buyers in our community and missed out. And the first thing we do on behalf of our customers is to reach out to them and you know, and they're calling us. They are. And um, offer them homes that we know that are coming on the market, like the one on fifty four. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. so you know, right now our inventory is low, yep. and we have agents, we have buyers calling us saying, do you know of anything in the pipeline that's mm -hmm. coming on? Mm -hmm. We're working all together to achieve goals for everybody best we can. Right, mm -hmm. so what do we have uh, left? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so I do wanna mention uh, th uh, three right in Rosedale, beautiful homes. One we took off pre-COVID, mm -hmm. and we just put that one back on, and that is in the new section of the links. It's a John Cannon home, three bedroom, three bath on a premium waterfront lot. Amazing, beautiful. absolutely beautiful three bedroom, three bath, uh, 2,324 square feet. And that one is easy to show, listed at 649. And we did have that appraised mm -hmm. a few months ago. And then we do have one of those turnkey furnished villas available. That's 1,300 square feet with a pool on the water that is still available for $300,000. Mm -hmm. 
And then we have um, one in the Northbridge section over on um, a half an acre, beautiful home without a pool, but a wonderful spa. Um, and that's three bedroom, three bath, absolutely stunning. That home is absolutely stunning with hurricane protection. And we've got that listed at 525. And that one there is 2,573 square feet. Wow. So I know I said that fast with my bright colors on these gloomy rainy days. So just call Carol and I to preview any of these beautiful listings before they're gone. Oh, that's if you right. know anybody. That is right. And another thing I just wanted to add. Yeah. So um, pre-COVID, the first of the year we took off, we were having a, a great year. It looked like it was really going to be a great winter season. Of course, we got locked down there. But our average price per square foot was 212 yep. uh, 208 to 212 now uh, the average list price right now is 221 we're selling bet between 98 and 99 percent of that list price yes. too so give us a call whether mm -hmm. you're ready to sell today or tomorrow whether yeah. you, I don't know if you know somebody looking we are just a phone call away and until then. See you later, alligators. After a while, crocodiles.